Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. And uh, what we'll do is we'll press on the code button here, and we're going to scroll on down and copy the template. And so what that does is it copies the template, and we'll paste that into an editor such as Adam. Paste, uh, like so, Control V. We have a circle showing up in the template. We're just going to delete that, and it leaves us with put your code here and a stage.update, and we are ready to go. So let's start that timer and see what we can code in five minutes. Okay, uh, first of all, I want to code on black. So we'll come on up here and change the color to black. We did a little test series uh, in Instagram to see if we could show some pictures of, of code of things that we can make in ZimZoo. And so let's see what we did there. We start off in a nice easy way, a new circle. And we will give that uh, 100, 200, how about, and purple, purple. -y. I often start off with a, a circle that is dot centered on the stage that we can drag because these are very easy words to understand. And so we save that up and let's open it in the browser. So there it is, a purple circle. That was the first step in making something. And then we'll store that in a variable. We would normally use const here, but I like, uh, I use the friendly let. It's, uh, people know that a little bit better. Uh, my and the friendly my circle is equal to. So we have in the past been using var. Uh, we can use let, that's just fine, but it is also, a, it would be a const because this circle never changes its content. Uh, content actually inside, inside might change or whatever, the color or the size or whatever, but um, the object that is stored there, the new circle, wouldn't change. So let's not quite right, but it's good enough, and uh, well, let's use let. All right, so we've got this circle, and that was the first step, but now uh, we are adding it to an emitter. Oops, that would be more like a new emitter. That's from the emitter class right there, so capital letter. And we can emit my circle. So that will emit a whole bunch of circles, actually clones of the circle. But then we're going to center it on my circle. And people might not quite know what's going on there, but uh, let's uh, see what that gives us. So we'll take a view of that in the browser. What it gives us is a bunch of copies of the circle being emitted that we can still drag around because they're all they've all been put inside of the original my circle, which is draggable. Isn't that cool? So we're starting in on a creature, and I thought, hey, let's add an eyeball. So I didn't want to go and add another circle, but you know that's what shape an eyeball usually is. So anyway, I went uh, frame dot uh, add circles. This is a special kind of group of circles. Add circles, plural. It's a group of circles. Normally, those are just sort of a group all um, cached as one picture. But if we, I want to animate them individually in a sequence because that's something we can do that's quite impressive in Zim without too much code. And I think it will be fun for people to see that. So we're going to make our eyeball animate in a sequence. Now that means we need to turn those rings on, which happens to be after uh, a radius. That's the first parameter is a radius. And the next is true, what this means is make each ring an individual object inside a container rather than a cache, uh, like a cached picture of circles. Well, let's for now just center it on uh, my circle and just see what happens. Circle. All right, there's uh, this will have an eyeball now. Oh, well, maybe not quite. Center on my circle, frame dot add circles, make circles, my apologies, make circles, and we refresh here, and now we have um, an eyeball kind of showing up on there, yeah, but we want to do that animation, so we'll pop right in here, we'll drop this down, dot center, uh, let's um, change its alpha a little bit. Dot alp 0.9. Just fade that a touch and maybe bring it up again, up a bit. Dot uh, move uh, zero in the x and maybe minus 70, something like that. Uh, just to bring it up a little bit higher. Now we will dot animate it. And what we want to animate is uh, the props. Props. 
we'll do the scale. It should be pretty cool looking. Point, point 0.3, point 0.3. So we'll bring it down to just point 0.3, not minus point 0.3. We'll bring the scale down to point 0.3. We will loop these so it continues to loop up and down. So that is a loop col uh, colon true. I can spell it. And we'll rewind. These are nice friendly words as well. True that people would recognize. Uh, maybe they wouldn't guess sequence, but they still know what a sequence is, at least sequence of, um, uh, I don't know, something like 100. And let's pause that timer now and see what we've got. Ooh, in the nick of time. So we save that. And are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Um, we are going to show you what this looks like. And uh, we'll just... Here we go. Aha! Oh! Eh, 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 eh. I am the purple blob. Looks like he's kind of a, a surf blob, isn't he? <laughs> and that, my friends, is what we can make in five minutes with Zim. Isn't that cool? And so we've we've done that for the Zim Zoo. And uh, you can try this on the zoo as well, or you can just come in and uh, start um, coding in Zim at any time. We love you. We love you. We love you. Come on by zimjs.com slash slack and join us in coding. Ciao. I'm Dr. Abstract.